Hello and welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. It is a fabulous Tuesday. I'm so happy to have you join me. This is an incredible show. I have more amazing content for you and I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to share it so that you can create the changes that you would like to create in every area of your life. It doesn't just have to be about your business. It doesn't just have to be about your personal life. It can be about every area of your life. And so imagine knowing how to actually use your mind in relationship to your brain so that you can teach your brain how to function in higher levels of receiving and creating. So that's what today's show is all about. And I'm just gonna pause here for a moment and say hi to everybody. Oh my gosh, it is so good to see so many people on board with me today. So let's see, who have we got? <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so first of all, David Cox, hi. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And to Tafen and Richard Rossi, um, I see I've got the United Nations happening here again today. Uh, Jim Blackwell, thank you for joining us. Um, Ellen, so great to have you. I'm not sure that we've actually connected before through this show. It looks like maybe, are you a first time viewer? I'm very curious and where you're at. Um, email, coacher, Catherine. <laughs> I should, I should tokenize my show. Absolutely. Maybe you can help me with that, Tofan. I would love that. Uh, Sean Lindo, Scott Graham, Catherine, I think I said your name already. Um, and Sheldon, good to see all of you guys here today. Wow. Okay, so let me just give you a little bit of an update on what's going on with me. Um, Jimmy, I love it that you jumped on here again. You're, you're my frequent flyer. So um, I have been writing and writing and writing, and I know I've talked about this a lot, and I feel like I keep saying the same thing, but you have to understand that it's coming from a completely different place inside of me. So even if the words sound the same, um, what it actually is for me is, is very different. So let me kind of share that with you, because this is, I think I need to put it into some context that I've been <laughs> writing a book since I was in grade seven. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but the old saying goes, you know, it takes, it takes a lifetime to be an overnight success. And uh, I remember when I was in grade seven and I went to my teacher and I grew up in a rural area. So, you know, the classrooms were pretty small. And I went to my teacher and I said, you know, my English teacher, and I said, I really want to write a book. And he was so on board with me. And he's like, okay, start writing. <coughs> Pardon me. Hold on a second. <coughs> Sorry. Is it possible to choke to death on camera? I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, so he said to me, okay, start writing, bring me your book, and I'll help you with it. And so I did. Um, something didn't feel right. You know, I just, I don't know, maybe I was sharing some pretty deep stuff, but I, I just didn't feel comfortable actually taking it to him. And so the whole thing just really went into this holding pattern kind of for the rest of my life until now. So I uh, submitted um, the manuscript, which I had started a couple of years ago in, in real um, dedicated style. And I submitted the manuscript to a few publishers and I really wasn't connecting with anyone that was on the same page of, as me in terms of the energy around their consciousness and how they, they could embrace the project. So finally I found a publisher that gets it 
and is on that same page. And so I submitted to that publishing company and they said, you know what, we love it. We just think that you have more in you and we would like you to take the concepts that you create these, um, you know, these overview approaches to, and we want you to flush it out. So I literally have been writing and writing and writing, and I spent pretty much all of Sunday writing. And so today I'm going to share with you some of what I have in the book, and I'm going to teach you a tool that you can actually use by yourself anytime you want. It's going to be like one of those little tools in your hip pocket, regardless where you are, no matter what you're doing, you can stop for five or 10 minutes at any given time of day and you can just repattern yourself. So um, before I carry on, I want to say hi to a few more people. So Sylvia, nice to have you. Nader, welcome back. Mario, I think you're new. Oh, maybe not, but in any event, welcome. And Michelle, wow, cool. I'm not sure if we've connected on here before either. So you just have to let me know, okay? And Raphael and Jan. Hey, welcome back, Jan. So, um, all right. Let's see, where shall I begin? First of all, I want to introduce you to a concept. And um, it's not a new concept. It's, it's been around forever. But I really, I really think what's happening now is, is you're able to hear me. Because I've been talking about these tools for a very long time, probably all of my life. And what I actually had to do was I had to keep, I, I thought, you know, the, uh, of course, everything is our own reality, right? We create our own reality. I thought that in order for me to be heard, I needed to consistently up level my environment, which has a lot of truth to it because it, it is all about consciousness and it is all about energy. And, and if you're in, in environments that relate to you as, um, the way you used to be, and then you go through a change process, um, then they can't really understand who you're becoming or who you've become, and they keep relating to you the way that they used to see you or still see you the way you, you were once at one point in time, and, and it just re creates this energy block. So I started moving around the planet. Hola, John, nice to see you. Como esta? Wow, it's a fabulous day. I just feel so blessed that you guys are all on here with me. And um, I really want to tell you how much I appreciate that. Because what I'm doing right here, right now, is it's like my gift. It's what I live for. It's what I get out of bed for. It's what I, um, yeah, it's what gives me meaning in my life. Instead of material things, it's doing what I love and sharing these tools. And then the material things can come too. So it's not an either or, it's always an and. It's always, always an and. Hey Bjorn from Amsterdam, nice to have you. Uh, again, the United Nations are lined up here. We've got Canada, Italy, LA, Amsterdam. You know, where else are you guys from? Middle East, who else we got on here? Um, Ooh, Austria. This is so cool. Egypt. I got a little bit of everybody here. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right. So let's see. First topic of discussion is I want to create like a prelude to what I'm going to teach you. So first of all, we have our mind and then we have our brain. And so our, um, our mind is in every cell of our body. And our brain obviously is in our skull, right? Hold on a second. It's winter time, so <laughs> I've got it all going on. Um, so our mind being in every cell of our body is, and every cell, you know, the cells in our body are mostly water. Um, and, and they just really are, they absorb, you know, and, and they're energetic and their quantum and uh, their propagating. And it's just a continual expansion. There's no end 
to who you are. There's no end to who you can be. Like there's just no end. There's no boundary. The only boundaries that we have in our lives are our own beliefs and our own negative emotions. And then those create these like limitations that the ego then defends. So let me talk about that in a second. So just kind of set that aside for a second. So then we have the brain, which is like a, um, it's like a transmitter receiver. It's just, it's like an antenna. And within the skull, within the brain, we have a brain syndicate. We've got our pituitary gland, our pineal gland, our hippocampus, which I want to talk about right now. So our hippocampus, the job of our hippocampus is to actually build neurotransmitters and connect the synapses between them. And what this that enables then is for thought to continue into our experiences and create our experiences and attract to us people and and events and hi Saeed, nice to see you and Frank and Maurice and Mark Elliott. Wow, this is even getting greater and greater. The more people that come on here, the happier I am. Um, because my message really needs to get to everybody. Imagine this, just imagine with me for just a moment, if we put all of our, our minds and our thought process together right now, and we decided that we were going to step into our power and we were going to create new experiences and new realities every day, and we were gonna no longer look at what doesn't work. And with that process, we alleviated all of the pain and suffering in our lives, all of the poverty in our lives, all of the broken situations that don't work. And we just stepped into a space of thriving and happiness and joy and fulfillment. So if we all decided right here, right now, and set the intention to actually live our lives that way, then that would eventually, you know, based on Malcolm Gladwell's book, The Tipping Point, which I highly recommend you read, you know, eventually it gets to this space of where it creates its own exponential reach. And there's a tipping point in the paradigm, but it comes to repetition. So, okay, I digress. So let me, let me just kind of back up. So we've got the mind and we've got, we've got the brain and we've got the mind. So, the brain's hippocampus will duplicate and replicate any thought pattern that you have a significant emotional charge on. Now that could be resentment, it could be joy, that could be guilt, it could be happiness, that could be grief, it could be love. It's up to you, it's up to you. And all you have to do is decide. This is a cool thing. Hi, Tim. All you have to do is decide. Now, one of the things that I do to help in my decision-making process of what I'm going to focus on is I actually talk out loud to myself. So that's one of my tools that I want you to start practicing is that you actually start to talk out loud to yourself in positive, loving ways. Because it's just a matter of shifting the focus. Imagine if you're driving down the road, down the freeway, if you spent all your time looking in the rear view mirror, you would eventually run into something in front of you and you would crash. But if you're looking out the windshield, you take in so much more. For one thing, it's bigger, right? The rear view mirror is just tiny and it's focusing on past events that no longer serve you. The past needs to be left in the past. And every single day is a brand new beginning. In fact, every single moment is a brand new beginning. You can hit the reset button anytime during the day, as many times as you want and as many times as you need to, to create what it is that you want to create. So, I think that for sake of um, efficiency, you know, I could preframe this and I could talk about this for another 45 minutes and it's still at the end of the day, it's just gonna be theoretical. So 
So I'd really like to walk you through it because I believe that once people go through the experience of something, then they actually have the capacity to own the tool. As long as I'm just talking about what the tool is, then it just is that. It's just a theory. It's just a conversation about what something is, right? You know, you can, um, you can talk about driving a car, or you can actually drive a car. You can talk about riding a bike or you can actually go ride a bike. So instead of talking about how the brain and the mind cooperate and work together um, and how the mind actually has the capacity and the drive to completely demand upon the brain what to produce for it in terms of results, um, I'm just going to walk you through the process. Now, you can do this with a closed eye if you're not driving. If you're driving, then obviously you're going to have to have your eyes open. So, you know, in the future, um, a lot of times on, on here, I'll, I'll really just be going through content, which means it can work like a podcast where you're listening and doing other things. But I'm really what I'm planning on doing with these next few episodes is actually teaching you processes and repatterning tools that you can use on a consistent basis on the fly, in which case you want to be somewhere where you're sitting still and you can, you know, just close your eyes and go through the process. Okay. So with that said, and obviously I'm going to keep my eyes open. I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. And what I'd like you to imagine is like a picture in picture TV screen. So you've got this screen, right? And you're seeing your current reality. Um, and then you've got a little picture in picture screen in the bottom right or left hand corner, whichever side works for you. And I want you to place in that picture of that little screen, uh, a picture of how you would like yourself to be. Now you can choose, I would like you to just choose one area for now, because as you build up um, a skill set through repetition of actually using this tool, you'll be able to do multi areas of your life. But initially for the learning curve, I'd like you to just pick one area. So whether that's um, your health, uh, how much money you have in the bank, um, the fun that you're having, the way your body looks, your friendships, your, your love life, whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just pick one area. Okay, and then with that said, um, I want you to begin to develop that picture into something that you can feel, you can like, you can, you get a feeling from it. Okay, so keeping your eyes closed, you've got the picture of your current reality. And in the bottom left or right hand corner, I want you to create a picture of yourself in one particular area of your life as to the way you would like yourself to be. So a lot of people are working on money. So if you like, we can do that just for sake of conversation. If you're working on, you know, relationships or love or health or whatever, it's up to you. But just for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to use success and money. Okay. So in this little screen, I want you to get a picture of yourself. at a level of success that inspires you, that makes you feel really good. And I want you to see yourself, you're either sitting in your beautiful office or you're walking through your beautiful home or you're engaging with your amazing clients or your people are congratulating you and you've got this big smile on your face and you just feel amazing. Every part of you just feels happy and like the feeling of success, like you know you have done what you set out to do. You've got this like little butterfly kind of feeling in your stomach and every part of you is just thrilled at how successful 
your life is, your business is, the, the, the numbers in your bank account and seeing the numbers go up and up and up and up and up. Like when you're looking at, um, it's like a clock only the numbers are going up. And there's your bank account and these numbers are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And there's more and more and more and more and more and more digits. And just get into the feeling of that. How does that feel? Like you walk into a room and people are like, wow, there he or she comes. Like that person has totally turned their life around. Look at that person. They must have some kind of secret. Like they're wondering what it is you know that they don't know. And what does it feel like to be in that space? So get really connected to that feeling. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch out those pictures. So I'm gonna count you down from three to one. And when I do that, I want you to implode the picture that you have of yourself now and explode the picture of your future self. So on the count of one, two, three, and just flip it around. And now all you see on that screen is this picture of you in your future self as if it's now. And you're feeling what that feels like. And you can hear people applauding. And people are patting you on the back. And everybody wants to talk to you and everybody wants to know what you're doing and how did you create what you're creating and just keep in that feeling and just let that feeling roll through every cell of your being. All right. All right. Now I want you to go ahead and we're going to switch it back because repetition is really the key to making this whole thing click for the long haul. All right. So bring that new picture and put it back down in the corner and take that old picture and put it back up on the screen. And it's probably not very comfortable. It probably isn't even enjoyable at all, but nonetheless, it's popped back up there. All right, so at the count of three, we're gonna switch it out again and you're gonna explode that new picture and reality of your new life onto the big screen and you're going to squeeze and squish that old reality down into the corner on the count of one, two, three, and swish. Boom. What's on the big screen? It's you. You're thriving. You're happy. You're successful. You're wealthy. You're free. You have friends that are supportive and loving and expansive. Your home is beautiful. Your business is thriving. Your phone is ringing or, or you have a team around you, whatever is in that new picture. Most importantly, you feel it. Get into that feeling of that excitement, that joy, that enthusiasm, and just that space of knowing that you created this whole new reality by starting with how you think about yourself right here and right now, all right? Okay, now we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it back down in the bottom corner and we're gonna bring that old image back up on the screen. Hi, Marco from Italy. Hi, Lynn and Robert. And oh, it's so great to have you guys join us. All right, now I know this feels a little uncomfortable, <clears throat> as it should, because by the time you get to the third repetition on this, the old you doesn't really have as much of a chemical um, attachment at a cellular level, because we've started to shift, using the mind, we've started to shift the relationship that you have with yourself. And what this does now, is it's actually building new neurotransmitters in your brain, all right? So <clears throat> you wanna be doing this up to five, maybe seven times. Hi, Alexander. And if you would like more on this, I actually teach this as a training 
It's part of my Business Accelerator Bootcamp, which is coming up February 22nd and 23rd in Los Angeles live. And we've also partnered with a college in Canada, in Alberta, it's the Medicine Hat College. And our next event is coming up May 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. And I'm teaching a three-day boot camp there. So the big part about this when I work with business leaders is I teach them how to repattern how they function with themselves. Because that's where scaling a company starts. It starts in your ability to scale your thoughts, to scale your beliefs, to scale what you will allow yourself to experience instead of defending your limitations and resisting growth, right? All right, I'm gonna do this with you one more time. We're gonna keep the show short today, 30 minutes. I have, a, I have an appointment to jump onto and I want you to just start going about the business of actually using these tools. And I'd love it if you joined me at the Business Accelerator Bootcamp coming up late February. Okay, sorry. February 22nd, 23rd. Okay, here we go, one more time. So on the screen, we've got the old you. It's probably kind of hard to hang on to that. Down in the bottom corner, we've got the new reality that you're creating. And when I say three, we're gonna switch these out, all right? One, two, three, swish. Boom, there's the new you sitting on the screen. And I want you to take that in that person, he or she, who you have allowed yourself to become, the greatness, the happiness, the success, the love, the joy, the expansion, you never are going to get it all done. So keep asking for more, keep expanding, keep moving beyond your current circumstances keep bringing in greater possibilities. And that, my friends, is how you teach your brain to draw to you what your mind is focused on. It's by getting into that sensory-based space because your brain functions from whatever you're putting the most feeling into. So in this exercise, there was a lot of lead up in putting a lot of feeling into who you want to become, that person you are becoming as if you're that person now. How does that feel? How does that look? What does that sound like? Is there a taste? Is there a smell? Is there um, color? Like give it as much sensory based detail as you can until you actually become it. You take it on, you own it, you know it, you live it, you breathe it, you are it. And that, my friends, then becomes the dominating process with which your mind functions. And it tells your brain to transmit that to the quantum field, the universe, which is malleable, it's plasticity. It becomes that which you focus on and draws it to you. And that's it. That's it. It's really simple. It's really, really simple. The thing is, are you gonna do it? You know, isn't that always the burning question? Somebody can give you the simplest and easiest of tools. The question is, are you willing to do it? Are you willing to apply it? Or would you rather just kind of sit around and wish that things were different, but focus on the pain that they're not? So that, my friends, is the completion of today's episode of The Deborah Peters Show. And I thank you so much for joining me. I also have one more course. It's the Shift, Change, and Heal Your Money Story course, and it's online. Our new website should be up and running tomorrow. I think we fixed pretty much all of the server glitches. And uh, we've got a few spaces left in both programs. So very much looking forward to having you join me. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Like, share, subscribe, bring your tribe. And I will see you all on Friday, on Friday at 12.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is minus 8 GMT for all you folks across the pond. All right, love you. Take care of a blessed day. Go get them. Bye.